What's going on, Vital Syntax here, and I'm playing Day Z. Uh, and I thought I'd do a live playthrough um, of a life that I just started. I just spawned on the beach. You can see how close I am. Water's just over this little hilltop. Um, and I haven't really done a like uh, playthrough of this game. I've, I've done a lot of videos on it, but um, I thought I'd do like an entire playthrough of one life. I don't, it doesn't matter how long it lasts. If it if I end up dying really quickly, then that'll be it. Um, or if you know we end up doing a bunch of stuff with this, then uh, so be it. But I kind of just wanted to give you guys um, a full life playthrough on Daisy, which I think online on the Daisy website it says the average lifespan is like 30 minutes or something. So it could be that short. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can actually make it somewhere. Uh, I don't know exactly where I am. Uh, I do believe we are to the east of Chernosk or Cherno, or whatever it's called. Um, and as you can see, I don't have anything other than the starting items. I'm just going to be playing this solo. Uh, definitely best to play this game with friends or with a group of people just uh, to increase your survival rate. And also just going to make a lot more fun, but I wanted to do a video like this just so I could play uh, by myself. So it's like we've got a town up here coming up. I don't see... Usually what I like to do is get onto like the outskirts of the town and just kind of survey it, look for other players, um, look for if zombies are spawning, which we can see a couple right there. That's a good sign, because um, if they're not spawning, that means that either one, the server's broken, or two which is more likely. Number two is another player's here and he's already attracted and killed zombies. Which would be bad, because then he'd be in danger. And I don't have anything to defend myself right now. Alright. So I like to kind of just survey the town and look for other players and zombies, like I said, but also look for buildings that you can go in, because unfortunately not every building in this game is one that you can go inside and once you once you play the game for a little bit you'll start to recognize which types of buildings uh, you can go inside because they're you know the same style or shape or whatever and you can see them from a distance and tell whether or not they're actually ones you can go inside or not and that's actually one of the things I wanted to talk about in this in this video series too is a couple of things I thought they could improve about the game and also kind of get you guys' feedback on that. And that was one of the first things that I wanted them to change was uh, the buildings that you can go into. Maybe that's something they can change with the Arma 3 that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Uh, I've heard two kind of primary rumors about that. The first one is that they're going to release DayZ as a game mode for Arma 3, which is obviously the next Arma game that's coming out, I believe, before the end of this year. I'm not sure, though. They've shown a lot of stuff about it at E3, so. Um. Or the other rumor is that they're going to release it as a, stand, as a whole standalone game. Um, so we don't know. Either way, um, some things that I'd like for them to change or add to this mod. The first one would be that you could go in every building because it in improves the immersion factor like quite a bit and also it's just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of lame that you find a city or a little town or whatever that has you know quite a few houses that obviously you should be able to go into and you can only go in like one or two or maybe even none Another thing they should add is a, a good, better amount of guns. So right now there's there's quite a few guns. Ah, I already aggroed. Wow. They definitely improved the radius. Or increased it. I wouldn't say improved. So I'll get back to what I was talking about in a second. But let me just show you guys the best way to get away from a zombie if there's no buildings around. Obviously going in a building um, and then going out another exit is going to work because they walk really slow in buildings. Uh, or if you have a gun, which I obviously don't. But 
if you're outside, this is the best way I found to get rid of zombies. First thing is you want to weave in and out of trees. I don't know if this really helps, but it seems to. Uh, but the most important thing is to go up a steep hill because at a certain steepness, uh, you can't run. You only walk. Um, so let's see. This hill might be steep enough. I, I kind of doubt it, but so let's just run straight up the hill, and hopefully we'll start walking. And if, oh, hello, Mr. Boar. Maybe the zombie will attack the boar. Nah. So that didn't work. But if it was a steep enough hill, you could uh, Z strafe basically up the hill, and the zombie will try and walk straight up it, and you'll be running since you're not going perfectly straight. And he'll be walking, so you can easily get away from him. Wow, another cow there, too. Lots of meat. Alright, let's keep running. Actually, that's another thing I would like them to change, is the speed of the zombies. I think it's stupid that they can... Uh, that they completely stop walking in buildings, um, and that they can basically keep up with you by running. I think they should be more of a, a kind of dummy zombie, um, where you could outrun them. They're still be, they'd still be fast, uh, but you could outrun them but just by sprinting. And then going in buildings obviously wouldn't affect them, because that's really lame. And at the speed they're set right now, it's really the only viable option. Because you can't shoot them. Like, literally, if, if, if the one's running at you, you, you it's, it's not a good idea to try and shoot at them. Because chances are you're going to miss, because they zoom all over the place really, really fast. I don't see any other hills here. This is not good. Should be fine, though, since I'm... Maybe I can just keep running until I run out of food or water and start getting thirsty. I'm just going to keep running until we find a, a steep enough hill. I really think you should start with some kind of a weapon too. Uh, originally, you had a, a Makarov, the pistol. It's probably the crappiest gun in the game, but you spawn with that. And then they changed it so you just spawn with a flashlight. So that um, people would stop killing each other. Just like right off the spawn with which I like the idea of less bandits, more teamwork. And it, that definitely, the, the change with the flashlight definitely improved that. But I think that you should spawn with some other weapon. And I think it should be a pocket knife, to be honest. Because uh, a melee weapon... Oh, wow, he actually did damage. A melee weapon like that... You can't really kill another player with very easily, unless you get like right up close to him. Um, so you wouldn't really have the problem that the flashlight issue is trying to solve of people trying to kill each other right at the spawn point. But at the same time, you could silently kill zombies and at least have some type of defense mechanism. Because as it sits right now, it's like you can't do anything. Keep running and running and running. I don't know how this this zombie attract. Uh, he hit me again. It probably should be stop me turning around and just use the uh, look feature. Um, because the worst thing they could have right now is I start bleeding. Seems like they uh, increase the. I don't know if they increase the radius, but. You see on the right side of the screen, I've got my visibility and audible little bars there. It seems like they increased the visibility. Come on, I need a hill somewhere. Looks like this might be some of a mountain right here. That's another one, but that looks a little less steep, so I'm going to go to this one. Or maybe you could uh, have like food or something that like raw meat. Actually, that'd be really cool because if you spawn with that pocket knife I was talking about, you could obviously gut animals. Um, that'd be cool if you could use the raw meat and like drop it, almost like throw it like a grenade type of thing, like that type of mechanic. But the zombies would be attracted to it, just like they're attracted to like flares or chem lights. 
uh, as a way to kind of distract them and get away. I think that's the same way smoke grenades work. Okay, this hill right here might be steep enough. Hopefully it is. And at this point, I have no idea where we are. I'm so lost right now. I don't want to run down towards the beach because I'm so exposed down there. I feel like I'll get shot or something. That's ah, not steep enough. This will definitely be steep enough, though. Okay, let's just go up here real fast. So the, my plan with this uh, series is just to do a full playthrough, no cuts, no shortcuts, no... Obviously I'm going to take breaks and stuff. can't play for however... I mean, I've had I've had characters that have lasted weeks, so I can't just play for one sitting, but um, I'm not going to like cut it into... Well, I'll cut it into parts probably just because it would be really long. But uh... Try and give you guys like a full playthrough, not like just the exciting parts. So you can really see what this game is all about. Alright, so this is what I'm talking about, Z-strafing up a hill like this. So you can see I only walk at that angle. I can run at this angle. And you'll get up the hill a lot faster if you kind of Z-strafe like that. And in a second when I turn around, you'll see the zombie's trying to walk straight because, you know, he's an idiot. And you should be down towards the bottom of the hill. And I should be able to make my escape. You can't even see him anymore. There, he's way down there. All right. See, it worked. Now we can uh, continue on our way. Okay, I can see the ocean. Uh, that might not. That looks like a road, actually. But I know for a fact that that's where that that uh, direction is. South or towards the uh, the sea. So let's head that direction. Yeah, I can see a uh, sea line right there, it looks like. That's definitely water. Okay. Really, there's two approaches we can take to this. One would be the reckless, more rewarding approach, which would be going to one of the large towns, uh, Cherno or Electro or Starry Sober, there's a couple other ones, but those are the, the three primary ones. Um, and also visiting the military bases because that's where you're going to get the most items. But it's also the most dangerous place, obviously, because there's tons of zombies there, but more importantly because that's where all the other players are going. So that's one approach, and the other approach is... You know, we might actually be at the edge of the map here, because I don't see any trees. That's not good. We might be super, super far west. Because usually when you just see hillsides like this, that means you're going towards out-of-bounds. Well, there really is no out-of-bounds. You can literally like, run for almost forever, but... Um, the edge of the, the playable map. Uh, and then the other option I was talking about, other than going to major cities and military bases and the air bases and things like that is going to like farmhouses um, typically you're not going to find you know things like military grade weapons like M4s or AK-47s or um, frag grenades um, but you can find shotguns and even a, a sniper rifle the CZ-75 so there definitely are some stuff. It's just not going to be quite as rewarding and much, much, much safer. Especially the the players. I mean, you really don't even have to worry about players if you're just raiding farmhouses. Maybe you'll run to one every once in a while. But that's not uh, anywhere in comparison to Cherno. I mean, if you ever go to Cherno, there's guaranteed, depending on how many people are on the server, which are usually 40 or 50 uh, server size, um, and if they're full servers, then you're almost guaranteed to have at least like 10 people uh, in one of those cities. So, all right, so we're getting to the main road here. I wanna. There's another cow. Is that yeah? 
That'd be cool if you could ride the cows. <laughs> hey, moo. Alright. Um, so I'm going to check and see if this really is the edge of the map. Quickly go just kind of to the end of this corner right here. Doesn't look very promising. So if that is indeed where we are, then everything is going to be behind me to the to the east. Yeah, that's definitely we're at the end of the map. So this sucks. Well, basically, like I said, if you ever see rolling hills without trees, that's a good indicator that you've reached the uh, the edge of the playable map, and you need to start going the other direction. Which I'm kind of surprised that that happened because that usually doesn't happen just because of the sheer size of this game. But uh, it spawned me pretty close to the uh, to the edge. So we are in the far south west corner. And if I keep following this waterline, we should come across a couple towns and villages, and then eventually come to Cherno. Um, actually, eventually we'll come to the first, the um, southwest airstrip airbase, and then we'll come to Cherno. So hopefully, uh, on our way to one of those larger places, we can find some type of weapon, because I'm not going to go in there completely unarmed. All I really have is my flashlight. And actually, um... He changed the way. Right now, he, he did it by default to put your flashlight in your tool belt. So you just need to right-click on it and say "Remove from tool belt." Then it'll go into your gun slot, and then you just press L to turn it on. Although I don't think you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can't see it in the daytime, which is actually kind of weird. I thought you would be able to see it at least a little bit, but I don't need that. So I'm gonna add it back to my tool belt. And we'll move along. And you can do that with a couple other tools like the um the axe. Ha I guess it's a hatchet. And uh the crowbar, I think as well. Uh which are the two melee weapons that they have added. Which essentially are just um shotguns that they've I mean, when you when you use one, you'll actually see like smoke, and you'll sometimes hear gunfire <laughs> coming out of the axe. Because essentially, what he did is he took a shotgun and made the range like cut off at about five to ten feet. I'm not sure exactly, but it has pretty good range. It actually, has very very good range. It's actually a uh, pretty good weapon. I, usually, it's a one hit kill too. So, and completely silent and unlimited ammo. So. And of course, we don't really have to worry about zombies spawning at all out here. Um, the way it works is they spawn near buildings. So obviously we can get to this village coming up. That could be another player right there, that black icon. Uh, definitely was something sprinting, so either that was a player or a zombie was attracted to a player, so you'd be a little careful up here. Although, if we run into a guy uh, all the way down here, he's probably just spawned in like me. So you probably won't be much of a threat. But like I was saying, zombies don't spawn out just randomly in the wild. Uh, they spawn near uh, buildings. doesn't have to be like a house or something. It could be just a little shack or even the little uh, deer stands. Like little sniper uh, stands that are randomly placed throughout the, the woods. And they might actually spawn near bridges too, I'm not sure. Also, uh, bridges work like indoor, uh, or work like indoors, and I found that out recently. It's actually really helpful. What I mean by that is, if you walk over a bridge by being while being chased by a zombie, the zombies will not be able to run. So just like I was explaining earlier, uh, trying to get away from a zombie, going indoors is going to slow him down, and he can't run anymore. He can only walk. Same way with bridges. It's always a good way to uh, get away, or at least... Uh, slow them down so you can at least shoot them since they're not sprinting all over the place. I think they're also afraid of water too because if you find like a a dock, oh, there's a dead player up here, let's check that out. 
if you find a dock or something, going out on the dock usually uh, will prevent the zombies from following you. I think they're afraid of the water. Alright, so this guy probably just killed himself. I don't think he actually got killed out here on the beach, but we can certainly take his stuff. So I'll take his bandage and his painkillers. That's what a lot of people do. They'll they'll spawn in and then kill themselves until they get a good spawn point. Uh, which is kind of lame. But at the same time, if you're playing with other people, it sucks to have to spend 30 minutes trying to find each other. Because you spawn on two separate sides of the map. It'd be, it's a lot easier when you, you know, spawn at the same spawn point or spawn near the same place. You can meet up with each other. Which I That's another thing I wish they would implement or add is a, uh, a kind of a party system where you could have like a friends list in game and uh, you know if somebody invites you to uh, spawn on them you could spawn on them type of thing um, obviously you don't want to just have pe people be able to spawn on these other players just randomly because then they're going to kill each other but you know if you had like an invite system and you were consciously wanting somebody to spawn on you um, because you're you don't want to play with them or whatever then I can see that working out. All right, I don't know if this is the village you were at earlier. It could be. It probably is. Um, and I think that was the mountain we lost the zombie on way back there. But uh, once again, I don't really see anything worth exploring. Let me get on my knees real fast. I don't really see any buildings there that uh, I can actually go inside. I'll just quick, quickly switch to third person. I like people. A lot of people like to play in third person just because it's a lot easier. Uh, I find it kind of ruins the immersion factor, so I I try and stay in first person. So um, also stay out of the water. I'm not going to demonstrate it because it sucks when it happens. But if you go uh, far enough in the water where that your backpack is submerged you'll actually drop your backpack uh, right now it wouldn't really matter too much because I don't really have anything in my backpack and this backpack sucks as far as the amount of space I can hold but still it would you know it would suck to not have a backpack but the worst is when and I've had it happen a couple times is when you have um, you know a nice backpack with lots of items in it and you uh, <clears throat> go too deep in water. So I'm just going to take this real slow. Obviously I don't really have much cover up here. You can see my visibility meters at 3 right now, which should be fine for this distance. But I don't want to be moving too quickly. Especially out here on the water, you don't have any cover. If I was next to bushes or trees and stuff that you can use those uh, to, to lower that visibility or if it's raining or something like that alright I think we're good ah oh, fuck no we're not got one running and I don't think we can go down there I think that will be too deep we'll lose our backpack so I am basically fucked because these guys are all gonna start chasing me shit and that bird just flew through cement <laughs> alright so how many got two chasing it's like two of them are after me. Might have gotten away. They're pretty far away, although it looks like they're they're catching up. At least one of them is. See, it's retarded. He's running faster than I am, but they can't actually attack you unless you uh, stand still because when they attack they have to s they stop moving and if you keep moving like you'll see right here he'll stop moving in a second to try and attack me usually or just kinda like staggered movement you know once he once he gets close enough he tries to attack me and then I'm moving so he has to keep moving I've actually seen um before or before uh, Daisy was released, I saw somebody had made a mod. I don't think it was 
the same person. I don't think it was Rocket, the guy who's actually working on this game. I think that's probably where he got the idea, though. Um, but I saw a mod for Arma 2. I think if you look like look on YouTube for Arma 2 Zombie Simulator, you'll find it. And that video had, like, the zombies were so much better. They looked more realistic. They sounded more realistic. They, you know, moved like actual zombies. And they couldn't sprint, like, 50 miles per hour. So Rocket should hire that guy. <laughs> Alright, we can definitely use this hill right to my left to get away, so that's what we're going to do. I'm getting thirsty. Not good, not good. Alright. Oh, this is a really steep hill. I think we're good if we just. Yeah, we're losing them pretty easily. That one just died. So did that one. Huh, I'm gonna go loot their bodies. That was funny, they like tripped or something and fell down the hill. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Sometimes they have items on them, like bandages or other crappy um, cans of food or things like that. Take painkillers. Sure. Alright, so let's not go up that hill after all. Let's just keep going along the road here. We need to find a... Uh, soda can or canteen. Looks like there's a lighthouse coming up here. Uh, pretty sure lighthouses don't spawn anything right now other than I think they spawn bicycles sometime. Which a bicycle would be awesome to have. I'm not sure if it's a bicycle or a motorbike. Like a motorcycle. Cause like whenever I've heard people refer to uh, it, they always just say bike. So, but I doubt we'll actually find one that's usable, but I'll go check it out. Make sure there's nobody up there. It looks like there's not a bell or something. So right now you can see the uh, canteen icon on the side of the screen is red. Which is so it starts out green and over time turns red, and uh, once it starts flashing, then you're in trouble. Um, so right now we're we're fine. We're not losing blood. Um, we have lost a little bit just because of the zombies that attacked me earlier. And I'm not even gonna take the time to go up there because I know there's not gonna be anything up there. Um, but once it starts flashing, then you see there's another boar up there. Once it starts flashing, then you start losing blood, which is essentially the health in this game. Once you get to zero, you're dead. Alright, so that definitely looks promising. So I can see some buildings over there, some houses over there. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to go in that warehouse, though, so let's head over there. And I, I believe I've been here before. Really, at this point, our best bet is just to go really slow, avoid any zombie confrontation, and find some water. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely quite a few houses here. I see another player there, you see that? Okay, so we need to take this. It's pretty easy to tell when another player just because of their movement speed. And, uh. Looks 
like he went in the warehouse there. My bet is that he doesn't have a weapon. But I'm just going to be really careful. And kind of hide in these bushes here. Don't know how well hidden I actually am. It looked like he went in that um, scrap metal building. That's right to the right here. Let's see what he does. Hopefully he'll... Actually, I can switch to third person and see my visibility. See, this is why third person is so, so much easier to use because you can kind of cheat like that. But Okay, I'm going to move up to this next bush. Oops. Go, 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 go. See some zombies there to the right. Let's move up one more. It's alright for my squeaky chair. I really need to get a new one. I like literally just put WD-40 on it like two days ago. Okay, let's move up again. I don't see him at all. He probably went out through the other side. Oh, I hear flies. Sounds like flies are coming from over there. I'm not going to go over there though. I'm not with this guy this close. I'm guessing he went out the other side and went on his way. But let's go prone through this little crack here. I still don't see anything. I'm going to go ahead and get up and move in. Okay, he's not here. There are lots of flies. Maybe they got him. If you ever hear that fly sound, then there's a dead player some, somewhere by, nearby. Okay. Could be in here as well. This is quite a big building, so... Okay, there's a hatchet. Definitely gonna grab that, but... Make sure he's not in here. Okay, let's grab the hatchet. That way if we run into him, we can... take him out. Alright, so when you pick up a hatchet, what you wanna do is right-click on it and do remove from tool belt and then press R to reload and now we have a th 100,000 okay we're flashing uh, water here, I gotta find water now I think I hear movement normally I wouldn't just run in here like this but the fact that I'm uh, about to die from thirst and be a little reckless. Nope, no water, no drinks. Damn. Got lots of jerry cans. Now that I have a weapon, I'm going to be a little bit less careful. More jerry cans, woohoo. Tires, wow, there's... That was me, by the way. Just 
checking to make sure my axe is working. Um, there's lots of repair parts everywhere for vehicles. Alright, I gotta sprint here. I know this is really reckless. I know there's zombies everywhere in that player, but we're gonna die of thirst if I don't find something. Um, and since I have a weapon now with basically unlimited ammo, we should be good. So, hopefully... What I can do is run into this town, find a building that I can go inside, take out all the zombies with my unlimited ammo hatchet, and then find some water. Wow, that's a lot of spawn zombie spawns right there. Ah. Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> I didn't see any buildings I could go into. Still doesn't look like we're losing blood yet. Come on. This is ridiculous. There should be, uh, there's a well right there if I had a water bottle. Oh, here's that player. Run for your life! Don't help me, run! I have a hatchet, so if we can get indoors, I can take him out. No, they're killing him. If you keep following me, we need to find a uh, building to go inside. I see the uh, the air base in front of us. Just uh, keep running towards that. Just pressing uh, left caps lock to talk, if you're wondering. So ideally, he's able to hear what I'm saying, but I'm not sure if, if it's set up properly. But so that was the guy I was supposed to see earlier. All right, so I'm pretty confident I know where we are now. Um, up here should be that airbase, the, uh, the south-west airbase. Follow me and I'll save you. There's going to be an airbase up here and there will be a control tower. Just go inside of it and I'll take the zombies out with my axe. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. All right, we're almost there. You can see the uh, hangars and the control tower. Obviously, there's gonna be more zombies there, which is not good. And there also is probably a player there. So that is a good uh, spawn point for items. Often you'll find um, military grade weapons and things like that there, so. And he's not bleeding, so that's good. Oh, that's a tree. Shit. See that air uh, control tower with the antenna on top? Go inside of that building. Let's see if he's actually paying attention. Come on, come on! Oh crap, there's a fence here. Shit. Fuck. There's a fence! Press V to go over the fence. Okay, good, good, good. The entrance is over here. Sounds like he's right behind me. Go in, go in the in the door, and uh, I'll I'll guard the entrance. All 
Alright, go see if you can find a gun or something upstairs. Oh god. So I just want to swing as much as I can. Okay. Alright, I got the zombies. Do you have any water or anything? I'm dying of thirst. Uh, I've got nothing. I, I, I spawned and saw you getting chased by 40 zombies. I thought it would be funny to go run with you. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go check out the uh, hangers. Uh, there's AK right here. You can go ahead and take it. Oh, you, you take that. I've got an axe. Did it have ammo too? Yeah, it's got two rounds. Nice. I don't see anything else. Oh, there's a zombie coming. It's got a bandage on it if you need it. Alright, I gotta find water, so I'm gonna keep moving. I'm going to the, uh, the base over here across the tree line. Don't think we can go in those buildings. It doesn't look like I'm losing blood, which is kind of surprising. I thought you lost blood a lot quicker. This guy sure knows how to waste ammo. Ooh, he's got some beans. Eat that. Now we're losing, but I saw it drop. Either that or I got hit. I think we can loot any of these zombies. But typically there's usually some good items in here. And there's another player right there. And a zombie coming to attack me. There we go, I got him. Got a bandage. If you ever see your blood flashing like that. Guess he wants me to take out the zombies. Oh. Found another dude.
Hey, asshole. Ah, he killed us. Even though I didn't have any items. So, that's, I guess, it. I guess I shouldn't have trusted that guy, although I couldn't really do anything about it. Uh, the guy who killed me wasn't the guy with the AK that I met up with. There was another guy. He saw with the pistol that was in the base when we got there. So, that's a, uh, a life in DayZ. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see another one of these. Um, I don't know how long it was. I wasn't timing it, but... Uh, that felt pretty short to me. Pretty, sh pretty short-lived. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give me a like or a favor. Once again, let me know if in, in the comments if you guys want to see more playthroughs like this or um, whatever else. So I'll see you guys later.